The last game in the inaugural state challenge between South Australia and Western Australia would decide the destiny of the Cup. Adelaide's champions Metro Stars travelled to Perth missing six of their regulars, while Perth champion Sorrento had four changes from their starting lineup, including former Perth Glory players Todd Howarth and Anthony Scorich as guests. Metro Stars created the first scoring opportunity when Todd Howarth lost possession on halfway to Tony Hatzis. He managed to find Stephen Grelly, who played a first-time pass which found Matriciani, but despite making room for the shot, he pushed his effort wide. In just the eighth minute, Sorrento took the lead. Jason Mirko received the ball from Harmwell down the left, cut infield and fed Gavin Knight. He turned Adrian Polisena and hit across to the back post, where Stuart Montgomery ghosted in to Sidefoot home. Knight does well to create space for the cross and then delivers a superb ball to the back post where Montgomery coolly sidefoots past Daniel Godley who is surprisingly beaten at his near post. Four minutes later Sorrento conceded a needless free kick. Metro Stars took it quickly, Stephen Grelly picking out the run of Perry Mitris. The former Adelaide United player outpaced Scorich with ease and fired his shot past Aspden into the bottom corner to draw the Metro Stars level. A superb run by Mitris and great awareness and execution by Grelly to pick him out. His pace takes him away from Scorich and his finish is pure quality, going for placement rather than power and finding the bottom corner. Seven minutes later, it was route one for Sorrento. Todd Harmwell received the ball from Aspden, looked up and spotted the run of Knight, who was completely free. Godley advanced and Knight lifted the ball over the top of him and watched it loop into the goal for Sorrento's second. The question has to be asked, how was Knight given so much space? But nothing should be taken away from the coolness of his finish, waiting his lob over the keeper to perfection. Sorrento were back in front. Metro Stars again looked to hit back immediately. Matriciani beat Harmwell's lunge at the edge of the area and fed Perry Mitris, but Todd Harmwell recovered to block his shot. It's later, Stephen Grelly received the ball in space about 40 metres from goal and struck a thunderous drive that he was unlucky to see rebound off the crossbar. Five minutes into the second half, Sorrento scored a scrappy third. Scorich's back header fell to Todd Howarth, who went to ground following a careless lunge from Rocky Callisto. Play momentarily stopped, but the whistle wasn't heard, so Howarth picked himself up pulled away from the defenders and squared the ball to Jamie Harnwell, who missed his shot, but it dribbled inside the post to stretch Sorrento's lead. Good awareness by Harris to pick out the unmarked Harnwell, who fails to connect properly and the ball bobbles inside the far post. Metro Stars appealed that Mirko was offside and by making a play for the ball was interfering with play, but the referee waved away their protests. Two minutes later, Anthony Scorich broke down the right for Sorrento. He beat Adrian Polisena and fed Montgomery, who clipped the ball forward, and Knight at the back post beat the defender and the keeper to nod home his second and Sorrento's fourth. A clever chip from Montgomery, lifting the ball to the back post and over Tortorella. Knight does well to direct his header down and inside the post. 4-1 to Sorrento. Metro Stars desperately needed a goal to try and get back in the game. And when Mitris and Callisto combined down the right, things looked promising. But under pressure from Platten, Lawrence De Riggio pushed his shot wide. Soon after, Joseph Polisena won possession for Metro Stars on halfway. And while Sorrento appealed for offside, Mitris had a chance to pull a goal back. But Aston narrowed the angle and blocked. In the 82nd minute, Sorrento wrapped up the match. Campanali's clearance fell to Todd Howarth, who clipped a shot over Godley and off both posts for Sorrento's fifth. A wonderful goal from Howarth. His first touch brings the ball under control 
and his second sees him lifted over the keeper. It hits both posts before rolling over the goal line. In the dying minutes, Tortorella broke forward for Metro Stars and fed Daniel Paoli. Kane blocked his cross and the ball came back to Tortorella. He beat Kane but couldn't get past the lunge of Howarth, who much to his surprise was deemed to have tripped Tortorella. Metro Stars had a penalty. Up stepped Michael Matriciani, but it was Curtis Aspton who saved his shot. Watching the replay, Howarth does appear to catch Tortorella's leg before the ball, making the official's decision to award a penalty correct. In injury time, Aspton passed to Montgomery, who was far too casual. Grelly stole possession, surged into the box, sent Aspton the wrong way before finding the back of the net for a late consolation goal. Montgomery seems non-plus to have been tackled and allows Grelly to run into the box where he calmly finishes past Aspton. When the final whistle sounded, Sorrento were the victors by five goals to two and their victory confirmed Western Australia as the inaugural winners of the Interstate Challenge. Uh, first of all, congratulations. Um, just a couple of thoughts on the game. Uh, you know, we were pleased. We've obviously had a few players missing uh, through yeah, different circumstances. Maybe some of us saw head from last night, but uh, Tonchi Scourge came in and uh, Todd um, Howarth came in and they both done well for us as guest players. And uh, at the, I thought we played pretty well considering. And, uh, you know, I thought both sides put up a, a good showing and, uh, yeah, it was, it was a good game. Yeah. And uh, just a couple of words on what it meant for you to beat, you know, the best Adelaide had to offer. Uh, what that says about your team and about the two leagues? I just, I think I said before the game that it would be interesting to have a look at sort of different styles and how, you know, and how you match up because you hear about over east sort of the, the the standard football or in Adelaide. So yeah, I think obviously it looks like we stack up pretty well. So uh, you know. It'll be, it'll be interesting what happens next year. I think one of the uh, WA state teams have got to go over there and play. So, well, you know, obviously we'll see if we if the, if the team or whoever goes over there wins. Yep. And just on the two guest players, any chance we'll see them in a Sorrento shirt next season? Oh, well, you know, we're, we're negotiating the change room now. Yep. No, obviously I, we're not sure. They just they, they just uh, came along and played for us, which was great. So yeah, but they, both decent players. Yeah, definitely. All right. Well, congratulations. Thanks a lot. Cheers.